Monday last week, we were robbed at gunpoint, um, and it was one of my employees that was there. And, you know, we've trained our employees that if they have a weapon pointed to their face, you know, you obviously give them what they want. Your life isn't worth any amount of money. Um, so she she gave them the money. Um, the police are still looking for them. Um, but one of the main reasons we have the firearms in our business isn't isn't so much for robberies. I mean, here in Alaska, we have a lot of kidnappings and a lot of murders. Um, and actually, several other coffee shops like ours have had women kidnapped and killed. Um, so we want those firearms in there if they need them and they need to protect themselves. A- absolutely. Um, and, and, you know, I, and I want to focus on a couple of things, because um, while you had firearms there, as you say, uh, that, that armed robber pointed the gun right at the employee's face. And, you know, I know sometimes, Samantha, gun owners, we get that uh, we get stereotyped as, you know, we're just always uh, looking for that opportunity to pull our gun out. Sometimes, you know, gun control advocates say, oh, having a gun is just going to make things worse. Here was a case where there was a firearm, you know, on the premise, but, uh, you know, you, you encourage your employees and your employees know better than to try to take an unnecessary risk at that point. If the firearm is not, you know, in your possession, you're not able to get to it. Um, you do have to protect yourself. Exactly. So going forward, um, what's going to change for you all, you think? Um, so one thing we've done, like I said, when this robber pulled up, he already had the gun pointed at her. She had absolutely zero time to grab her weapon and defend herself. Um, so she did what she was supposed to do. But now, moving forward, we um, are signing up for some um, defense training mm-hmm. um, to better to better ourselves. And maybe, maybe if that situation happens again, we would be more educated how to defend ourselves. Um, we've all had training, but, you know, you can never have too much. You can never be too educated with gun safety and gun control. So um, that's one step. And we've added a couple more firearms. So now we have one literally within reach of our arms, no matter where we are in our shop. And, and, and describe the shop for me, because it sounds like, if I'm not mistaken, I mean, this armed robber pulled up basically uh, in a stolen truck at the drive through window and, and robbed you all at Correct. gunpoint. Yeah. Yeah. So we're just a little drive through coffee stand. We have a window on each side and you know, it's it's not very big. Um, it's probably like 15 feet wide and maybe 25 feet long. So it's pretty small. Um, so it's it's nice that now um, after, we've never been robbed. We've been open um, for four years and have never have been in this situation. We've always had a gun um, just just in case, but we've yeah. never had to use it. Well, as you say, I mean, you talk about other coffee shops in the area. Uh, this is not unusual, you say, for you because of the, the attempted kidnappings that you uh, uh, have been subjected to, I guess, in the area. Oh, yeah, definitely. That, that, I mean, Alaska is yeah, Alaska's ahead. A very big, Alaska's a very big state, and there's so many unsolved murders. So many people get taken and murdered, and their bodies are never found. I mean, it's, it's pretty scary. And if I wasn't allowed to have a gun, I don't think I would have my business open anymore, honestly, because it wouldn't be worth it to me, you know? Wow. If I, I, if I didn't have a way to protect myself, you know? So if laws do change, I mean, I would definitely consider selling my business. 